Hi, I'm Philippa from someplace.co.uk and in this video I'm going to show you how to divide decimals by 10, 100 and 1000 fast without having to go to the bother of using a calculator. So starting with this one here, 475 divided by 10, I'm going to begin by putting it into the right position into this place value table. And by doing this, you'll understand just how easy it is to divide by 10. So 475 goes here like this. The 4 goes in the 100s column because it's 400. The 7 goes in the 10s column because it's 7 tens. And the 5 in the units column because it's 5 units or 5 ones. Next, you have the decimal point. So to divide this number by 10, there's a quick way of doing it and what you need to do first is count the number of zeros in the 10 which is 1 then move all these digits along one step like this. So if we put it into the place value chart you can see that the digits of the number 475 have moved along one step to the right. The 0 here, the 5 here, the 7 here and the 4 here. The reason why it works like this is because each place value up here, the thousands, hundreds, tenths, units and so on, each one is 10 times higher than the preceding value. So, for example, the hundredths is 10 times higher than the thousandths, the tenths is 10 times higher than the hundredths, units are 10 times higher than the tenths and so on. So here's another one, 33.2 divided by 10. And as you can see, I've also put this one into the place value table as well. Have a go yourself at working out the answer to this sum. So pause the video and if you need to, you can rewind just to remind yourself how it works. Then I'll see you on the next slide. So this is what you should have got. 33.2 divided by 10 equals 3.32. So to work it out, count the number of zeros and move the digits, that number of zeros, to the right. 10 has just got one zero, so you move the digits 33.2 one step along to the right, giving you 3.32. Now we're going to divide by 100. 2510 divided by 100 and I've also put it into the place value chart here. So to divide it by 100 there are two zeros in 100 so we need to move the digits two steps along like this. So you can see that each digit has moved two steps along so the zero here, the other zero, the one, the five, and the 2. So 2510 divided by 100 is 25.100. So here's another one, 812.5 divided by 100, and I've put it up here as well in the place value table. Have a go yourself first at working out the answer to this sum. So pause the video and I'll show you the answer on the next slide. And the answer is 8.125. You're dividing by 100, so there are two zeros, so it, that means that you need to move the digits two spaces along to the right. Now let's divide by 1,000 this time. So 3,195 divided by 1,000. There are three zeros in a thousand, so you need to shift the digits three steps along to the right. And it looks like this. The three has moved here, one, two, three. The one has moved here, one, two, three spaces. The nine has moved here, and the five here. And here's another one to divide by a thousand. 651 divided by a thousand. 
Again, have a go at yourself first at working out the answer to this sum. So pause the video and I'll see you on the next slide. And here's your answer, 0 0.651. There are three zeros in the thousand, so you move all these digits three places along to the right.